This joke is called The Purple Diamond. Once upon a time, there was an eight-year-old boy walking home from school when he overheard a bunch of teenage girls come out from a beauty salon and they were laughing and giggling and talking about some some type of purple diamond and the little boy <clears throat> was uh, all confused and never heard of that phrase before and he was wondering why they were laughing so much but you know he's just a little kid he's only eight years old so kind of went home and forgot about it the next day he um, he remembers uh, what they were talking about but didn't quite understand what it meant something about a purple diamond so after school he uh, sees these four uh, teenage girls again coming out of that salon parlor or beauty salon and he went up and approached one of these teenage girls uh, we'll just call this one uh, girl number one the little boy goes up to the girl number one and says excuse me excuse me hi my name is Billy and um, <clears throat> I just want to ask a question and the girl's like oh my god <laughs> hi Billy what 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 can I help you with? Um, I just want to know what's a purple diamond. And the girl was all disgusted, kind of looked at him weird, and said, "Why why would you ask that?" And the boy, looking all confused too, said, "Nah, I don't know. I just I just." I just kind of heard you guys talking about it, and and uh, I don't know. I just want to know what a purple diamond is. The girl didn't say a word; just kind of walked away. And the boy, confused, starts, you know, walking down the street, and figured, hey, let me just ask the other girls. Goes to the second girl. We'll just call her girl number two. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hi, hi. I I just want to ask a question. Girl number two. Hi. What's what's up? Um, I just want to ask. Um, what's a purple diamond? Second girl was like, well, why why do you want to ask that? Well, I I asked girl number one, and she just walked away. So I'm now asking you. The second girl kind of shook her head and like and she she just said Ugh, and walked away so the little boy keeps on walking and uh goes on to the next girl girl number 3 hey excuse me excuse me hi um uh can i ask you a question and the girl goes hey Hey, what's up? Yeah. Huh. Um, uh, so I, uh, I asked girl number one, girl number two this question, and they just kind of walked away. And, uh, so I just wanted to ask you a question. And the girl number three says, okay, um, what question is that? And the boy says, what's a, what's a purple diamond? The girl the third girl he goes, oh my god, please get away from me now, and walks away. So the boy, confused as hell, walks to the last girl, the very last one, and then he goes up to her and says, excuse me, excuse me, hi, my name is Billy, and I just, I just want to ask a question, hi girl says um billy says uh so <clears throat> can't can't can i ask you a question what's a what's a purple diamond 
the fourth girl's like, why, why would you ask that? And the boy says, well, I asked girl number one, girl number two, and girl number three, and they all, they don't, they all just walked away. They didn't want to answer it. The fourth girl says, you better get the hell away from me right now. And runs away. The boy, kind of uh, confused and kind of shocked that all these girls are running away, was about to give up until he sees the uh, salon parlor that they came out of yesterday. And he was like, oh, in his head, maybe I should ask the lady in there. So the little boy goes inside the salon shop, walks up to the counter and rings the bell ding ding out comes the salon lady oh she says oh hello sweetie what's what's what can i help you with um billy says um hi hi miss some salon lady i j i just want to ask a question uh <clears throat> and uh, what, what 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 kind what kind of question Salon lady says. The boy says, um, I just want to know, um, what's a purple diamond? Salon lady looks at him, kind of lost for words, and then she says, Why would you ask that to me? And the boy says, Well, I asked girl number one, girl number two, girl number three, girl number four, and they all didn't want to answer me so I figured maybe I should ask you because you know I saw them yesterday over here salon lady goes picks up her phone dials 911 calls the police and the boy's freaking out it's like well, well what did I do and then you know two minutes later police came the police officer goes inside the shop sees the uh, salon lady and the boy salon lady points at the boy says there he is officer there he is talk to him police officer walks to the po uh, boy hey kid what's your name hi um my, my name is billy <clears throat> so what, what seems to be the problem here little billy uh you causing in any trouble no, no, no trouble, officer. I just, I just asked a question. Well, what, what, uh, what question? Well, I, uh, I went and asked uh, girl number one, girl number two, girl number three, girl number four, and the salon lady, uh, what's a purple diamond? And the police officer says, all right, that's it. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. Takes the boy into his squad car and they drive all the way down to the police uh, station where he's locked up in jail temporarily until they figure out what to do with him. <clears throat> Alright, so the next uh, day or night, he spends the night over there and sees the uh, janitor come by mopping the floor. And janitor looks in the cage and says, "Wow, you uh, you you look like a young little fellow. What what in tarnation got you in this cage?" And the boy says, "Well, I uh, I got in trouble because I asked a question." The janitor says, "Well, what what?" what? You got in trouble for asking a question. Well, what, 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 what question is that? And the boy goes, "Well, I asked girl number one, girl number two, girl number three, girl number four, the salon lady, and a police officer. Um, what's a purple diamond?" <laughs> the janitor starts getting a heart attack. <laughs> the janitor freaking. <laughs> Heart attack. No, no. He holds his chest up. 
but he can't stand. He falls to the floor and dies. All the other prison guards walk and goes, What's going on? What's all the commotion? And he looks down and sees the dead janitor on the floor. Then looks up to the little boy in the cage. And then says, Oh my gosh, we gotta we gotta speed the process up. We gotta get this guy into court right away. We, we can't leave him here another day. So the next day, the uh, little boy goes to court um, with his lawyer and everything. And they're in court, and the honorable judge, uh, judge, we'll just say her name is Judge Mary. Judge Mary enters the room. All stand for Judge Mary. Hits her gravel. And it says court is non session case number one two three four five six seven uh Billy versus uh the people and she reads all the documents and everything and then after after a while she goes and asks the little boy so uh billy what uh what what uh what made you think you could ask that question? It was just a question, your honor. What the What do you mean just a question? It's I just I j okay, here's what happened. Tell me tell me tell me if you're guilty or innocent. I want to know, you gotta convince me. And the jury. Look, all I all I did was I asked girl number one, girl number two, girl number three, girl number four, a police officer, a salon lady, and janitor. What's a purple diamond? And the judge says, "All right, that's it. He's going. He's he's having life in prison." Slams her gravel, and says, "Case closed." So the boy is sent to life in prison now and um, taken away by the other officers into a prison bus where he's chained up from the legs and his hands to other prisoners. And they walk in the bus in a line all with orange jump sh jumpsuits and clothes. And, and Billy sits right in the front of the bus right next to the bus driver then they start driving to the largest penitentiary in the state and uh, halfway halfway through the uh, drive uh, bus driver kind of looks behind him and notices the little kid <coughs> and he says wow bus driver says you a, you a long you you a young looking fellow man what's your name my name's Billy. Hey Billy, how old are you, man? I'm eight. Eight, huh? How the hell did you get into prison? Stuck with all these guys. <clears throat> well, well, um, okay, so I, I asked girl number one, girl number two, girl number three, girl number four, a salon lady, a police officer, a janitor, and a judge, What's a purple diamond? <laughs> bus driver loses control of his bus, slams his brakes, but it's too late. Crashes into a tree, and then starts rolling over. The bus goes out of control, and people are freaking out. The bus keeps rolling and rolling. And fire comes up. The whole bus is on flames, and it's just a big car accident tragedy. And everybody dies in the bus, except Billy, who happens to miraculous, miraculously survive. But uh, helicopters soon come over, and they got the, the SWAT team, the SWAT, the SWAT team, and the FBI, and they find Billy, and they helicopter him out of there and sent him to a maximum security prison. All the way up downtown. 
actually north of downtown over the mountains <clears throat> In the maximum security prison, he stays in this prison cell with a stranger, another prisoner, just temporarily, till he defined him in a room in his own. Little Billy goes up to one of the cellmates, and he looks around and says, Hey. What's uh, what's going on? Prison guy looks at him and says, "Oh man, I'm just chilling, man. You young little fucking kid." Uh, little Billy says, "How did you get in here?" Me? He says, "Well, I stole a lot of weapons and and uh, threatened to." bomb a building how did you how the hell you get in here you 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 young as a motherfucker well how old are you little billy says i'm eight eight years old damn god damn so how the hell did you get in here mm, billy says well i asked a question and the guy says what question is that well I asked girl number one, girl number two, girl number three, girl number four, a salon lady, a police officer, a janitor, a judge, and a bus driver. And I all asked them the same question. What's a purple diamond? Prison guard starts, the prisoner starts freaking out. Holy cow, get me, get, get me the prison guard right now. Get me the prison guard right now. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Prison guard comes over and says, "What the hell's going on? Get me out of here before, I, before, before I kill myself, man! You better, you better do it! You better do it before, I, before I kill myself, man!" Prison guard opens the door, takes out the boy, and says, "What the hell did you do to him to freak him out like that? What, what what's wrong with you, boy? What, 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 what did you do? I just, I just asked a question." And the prison prison guard says, well, what question is that? Well, says Billy, I asked girl number one, girl number two, girl number three, girl number four, a salon lady, a police officer, a janitor, a judge, a bus driver, and my cellmate. What's a purple diamond? The prison guard says, oh my God. All right, that's it. <laughs> takes little Billy out and then takes him all the way down to the last hole of solitary confinement where he's stuck in there 23 hours a day for 10 years finally 10 years pass all they could do is give him food in a little hole make him go outside for one hour take a shower for one hour and go back to his cell 23 hours a day for 10 years until finally a, a doctor goes in this time little Billy is no longer a little Billy he's an 18 year old man Stuck in solitary confinement. Doctor goes up to him and says, Hey, uh, <clears throat> your name is uh, Bill. Bill. Bill, Bill. Hey, hey, Bill. Should I call you Bill or Billy? Uh, just call me Bill. Okay, Bill, let's see here. <laughs> Good, alright, alright. So, my name is Dr... Johnson and uh, I'm here to evaluate your mental status after being here for 10 years in solitary confinement um, so uh, let me ask you a question what brought you into uh, the solitary and Billy says well uh, I just asked a 
I just asked a question, man. And the doctor says, you asked a question. You got into solitary confinement because you asked a question. And Bill says, uh, yeah, I asked a question. And I guess uh, I got in trouble for it. And the doctor says, well, what question is that? And Bill says, well, it was a long time ago, but I asked, I asked the four girls, this is girl number one, girl number two, girl number three, girl number four. Then I asked a salon lady, a police officer, a janitor, a judge, a bus driver. I asked a cellmate. I asked a prison guard. All the same question. I asked them, what's a purple diamond? The doctor freaks out, drops his notepad and clipboard and, and says, Guard! Warden! Anyone! Come over here! The warden comes up. What, what's up? What's wrong, doctor? This man is the most dangerous man that I have ever met in my entire life. He needs to go to death row. He, he's, he's 18 now. He needs to go to death row. He's He's a danger to society and he needs to be executed immediately <clears throat> or as soon as you can make it. Warden says, all right, then I'm going to sign some paperwork and uh, I'm going to put him to death row. we got to send him to another facility, though. So here is a 18-year-old Billy going to death row now. <clears throat> And uh, they put him to another facility for 10 more years till finally his time is up. Um, they granted him his final meal. And he's lining up to be sent to the electric chair where he will be executed. Before going, though, he meets up uh, with another death row inmate. And... Uh, <coughs> He goes and says, hey man, what's up? And the death row inmate says, what up man? You ready for this shit? And Bill says, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, man. What, what, what are you in for? And death row inmate says, well, I, I killed a lot of people. I, uh, I uh, killed my ex-wife and uh, murdered a bunch of people. What do you win for, man? Twenty-eight-year-old uh, Billy says, "Well, I'm in for asking a question." The inmate says, "Asking a question? Well, what kind of question did you ask?" And Bill says, "Oh." It's a long story, but I asked uh, I asked girl number one, girl number two, girl number three, girl number four, a salon lady, a police officer, a janitor, a judge, a bus driver, a cellmate, a prison guard, a doctor. I asked them all the same question. What's a purple diamond? Is this death row inmate starts freaking out. Ah! Ah! Prison guards walk all the way, all over. There's like 10, 12 prison guards all over. What the hell's going on in here? Ah! Ah! Prison. Pr prison. Uh, prison inmate starts freaking out. He's, he's going crazy. And soon one of the prison guards says, all right, man, if you don't calm the hell down, we're going to have to take you out and right now. We're going to shoot your ass. Still, he starts freaking out and slamming his head everywhere and jumping around. And finally, they shoot him. And then they look at Bill and says, damn, he needs to be executed right away. Let's, the, let's put him in the electric chair right now, man. This guy is trouble. 
So they drag him immediately to the electric chair. <clears throat> a few minutes later, there's a big guy with a hood, a mask, and uh, I guess he's the uh, executioner. Walks into the room, turns on the light, makes sure that all of uh, Billy's belts are all tied up to the electric chair properly and hooks up the wires. Soon a priest comes in the room, starts spraying holy water into the to the room, starts saying a prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Bless this man for uh, all that he has done to get here. Forgive him, Father. And he starts reading from the Bible, long passages. And then the priest says, Any last words, my son? And Bill says, Well, uh, Pastor, or Father, I, uh, I got one thing to say before I die. And the priest says, Okay, so what's that? Um, well... I asked girl number one, girl number two, girl number three, girl number four, a salon lady, a police officer, a janitor, a judge, a, pr uh, a bus driver, a prison guard, a prisoner, a doctor, a death row inmate. And now I'm going to ask you, what's a purple diamond? The priest freaks out, drops his Bible, and says, All right, that's it. Execute him right now. Points at the executioner. Execu executioner gets his handle, pulls it down, starts shocking him. Twelve million volts go into his body. Bill starts electrocution, freaking out until he finally passes out and dies. And then Bill goes all the way down to hell. His soul travels all the way down. All the way down past the three rings of fire. The three levels of hell. And he goes into the first level. Where he meets the demon overlord. I am the demon overlord of hell. You must be Billy. Billy. I've been waiting for you, Billy. Welcome to hell. <laughs> Billy's all tired and confused. And he looks up to the demon and says, Whoa. What am I doing here? Demon says, I should be asking you this, Bill. What are you doing here? How did you get here? Bill looks up to the demon and says, Well, I asked girl number one, girl number two, girl number three, girl number four, a salon lady, a police officer, a janitor, a judge, a bus driver, a prison inmate, a prison guard, a doctor, a, a death row inmate, and a priest a question and the demon says well, what question is that and Bill says well I all asked them what's a purple diamond and the demon says you are a really evil man you're going to the next level of hell where you will meet the devil Lucifer He's sent into a wormhole. Fire and smoke everywhere. People are drowning in lava. And then he falls into a rock where he sees a foot, a web foot with long nails and claws and a trident and a man looking creature with wings and a bull 
ring in his nose and demonic eyes and vampire teeth and I am the devil, Lucifer. You must be Billy. The demon underlord sent you here. You will now burn in eternity. But one question I asked. What, what the hell brought you in here? And Bill says, Well, I, uh, I asked a question. And the devil says, Well, what question is that? Well, I ask girl number one, girl number two, girl number three, girl number four, a salon lady, um, a police officer, a janitor, a judge, a bus driver, a prison inmate, a prison guard, a doctor, a death row inmate, and a priest, and the demon underlord and I asked him one question what's a purple diamond the demon looked at him and the devil the devil looked at him I mean and and it said wow you're going you're going to the last level of hell the third and final level of hell you shall go bill you are an evil evil person a black hole starts emerging he falls into the hole warps down all the way down to the lowest part of hell fire and lava and screaming and smoke until finally he hits the floor and he sees hitler adolf hitler and a big sign that says Satan. Bill looks up and looks up and talks to Hitler and says, "Oh, hey Hitler, you you're out. You must be out of Hitler, right?" And Hitler looks at him. Why, yes, I am Hitler. What what bring you here? And then Bill says, "Well." Um, Oh, it's a long story, but, uh, all right, I'll tell you. I asked girl number one, girl number two, girl number three, girl number four, salon lady, a police officer, a janitor, a judge, a bus driver, a prison inmate, a prison guard, a doctor, a death row inmate, a priest, the demon underlord, the devil, and now I'm gonna ask you, Hitler, what's a purple diamond? And Hitler says, Wow, you are evil. You're even more evil than me. You know what, Bill? You better go ask uh, Satan over there. He's, he's up there in that palace over the hell gates. <laughs> Bill, Stands up, starts crawling, opens the gate, walks up, and sees the palace. The palace, big, huge, castle-looking palace, fire everywhere, and suddenly the palace starts transforming and whirling into a big creature, huge, the size of a mountain-looking, it looks like a genie, and big horns and fire and red skin and smoke everywhere and and then darkness comes and bright light and Billy screams and is blinded by the light as so much fire and yelling and and then he says I am Satan the god of underworld the 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 leader of hell and I am the ultimate, ultimate destiny for the most evil. Come here, Bill. You will be here forever, for all eternity. Now, what do you have to say for yourself before you burn in, 
in all eternity forever and ever. And Bill says, Well, uh, Satan, I got a question. And Satan says, A question? <laughs> Satan starts spinning around and turns into a humanoid person. Shrinks down to an average size guy, kind of looking. Um, he walks up to Bill and says all right bill what question should you ask before you burn in hell forever bill says so i ask girl number one girl number two girl number three girl number four a salon lady a police officer a janitor a judge a bus driver a death a, a, a inmate a <laughs> A prison guard, a doctor, a death row inmate, a priest, a demon underworld, the the devil, Adolf Hitler. A question. I asked them all the same question. And Satan says, oh, question. What question would that be? And then he says, I asked them, what's a purple diamond? And Satan looks at him and says, <laughs> You really want to know what a purple diamond is? He says, Yes. Okay. Uh. Okay, bro. I'll tell you what it is. I'll tell you what a purple diamond is, man. But you got to promise me to never, ever, ever, ever ever ask this question again you got that bill yes just, just answer this question and let me burn hell actually bill if you keep this promise i'm gonna send you to heaven just just don't just don't ask, please don't ask this question ever again and I'll, I'll tell you what a purple diamond is okay bill says okay please tell me and then Satan says, come over. Come over closer, closer. And then he whispers in his ear. It says, a purple diamond. A purple diamond, Billy. A purple diamond is a, is a long, long anti-joke. You tell it to people. Just to waste their fucking time.